Hey folks, welcome back to another Throwback Thursday. So we have a cool one here for you. Uh, we have the 1992 Upper Deck Baseball. I believe this is the Low Series, because uh, it doesn't say High Series on here. But we're doing this uh, for, for pretty much, we're almost at the end of baseball season. The Arizona Diamondbacks are going to the World Series against the Texas Rangers. I have a feeling it's going to be a fun uh, exciting series. I wish my Braves made it, but apparently uh, they want to do well during the regular season and absolutely suck during the playoffs. It is what it is. That's what happens when you're in a city of Atlanta. Anyway, back to the <laughs> topic at hand. Uh, these are the Jumbo Packs. So they're 24, uh, 27, if I can read correctly. 27 cards per pack. Um, I guess they're going to be random holograms in there. And it uh, looks like they're going to have the Home Run Heroes, but I also believe... Uh, it's got uh, the chance for, it's either Johnny Bench um, home, uh, Baseball Heroes or the Ted Williams. I can't remember which one was the low series and which one was the high series. But also, if we're really lucky, we're going to pull out the special print, the short print, the SP3 of the Deion Sanders, uh, both as an Atlanta Brave and as Atlanta Falcon. Uh, you know, with the whole thing with Dion and... Uh, the Colorado Buffaloes, his cards have shot up in value. This has been one of the cool ones. I actually have uh, one or two of them myself. I pulled one way back in the day, back in uh, 1992. And I pulled another one recently uh, in the past few months. But we're going to try and get one here. And uh, that would be really cool. So, before we open this up, if you want to do me a solid, you can hit that like button. And if you want to take... One step closer to world peace. You can also hit that subscribe button. No guarantees, but you know what? It won't hurt. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and rip into this bad boy. And uh, see what we get. You know what? It is Find the Williams. It is Find the Williams. It's right here. So that's pretty cool. But there is one time I opened one of these jumbo sets. And I got Williams and Johnny Bench. So uh, that's going to be fun. But it will be really cool if we got his autograph. Uh... I haven't received an autograph from one of these upper decks, and I've opened up hundreds of baseball packs uh, back in the day and uh, recently. But this is back, you know, obviously in the junk wax era where they printed uh, millions of these cards. That's why they still have so many of them now. And uh, I believe I got this jumbo pack for like, the jumbo box for like 40 bucks off of eBay. I was going on a spending spree earlier this year, uh, back in April and May. And uh, like I said, I think I got it for about. 30 or 40 bucks. Nothing way over the top, but uh, we're going to try and run through these real quickly. Uh, we're not going to go through every single player. Um, there may be a Chipper Jones rookie in here. I don't remember. I, th I think that's possible, but if we do run against one, we'll consider that one a, a hit as well. All right. So, not only are we going into the World Series, but the NBA has just started their season, so this has uh, been a, quite an eventful week. So we have our first, our, our, our other insert that they have uh, for the upper deck. We have the Home uh, home Run Heroes. And uh, for some reason, my camera does not want to focus here. So we're going to we're gonna put the Home Run Heroes here in its own pile. But uh, obviously, we have to do the, the, <laughs> the, make sure the cards are... Uh, all flipped all around and everywhere, so we're just gonna we're gonna go through this as as quick as possible. We have a Cal Ripken Jr. Diamond Skills. We'll keep that. Uh let's see. We have a Morton. Who else do we have? We have a Wade Boggs. And we have our little our checklist here. Let's see. Is, is my camera angled correctly? All right. Like I said, we're gonna try and and do this quickly. We're not gonna name out every single player because Lord knows I'll you know sit there and make things slower but we have some uh, some good memories there I, I don't remember if uh, Bo Jackson is here but if he is we'll uh, put him off to the side as well but of course we have the big names we have uh, I keep I don't know what's going on <laughs> my camera keeps shaking we have, uh, obviously, McGuire, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., a lot of big names here. Oh, Patrick Lennon, looking incredibly uh, angry there. 
So, it looked like he was kind of unhappy. But that was our first pack. I forgot how many packs we have in here. We have like, it's either 16 or 20. But as you can see, the original price of these were $2.19 as opposed to uh, the regular uh, hobby packs, which were a dollar. And uh, man, I miss those days. And this camera does not want to uh, want to agree, but <laughs> that is a Barry Bonds. Let's, let's see if we can get this. Uh, it it just doesn't want to. But we have our first. We have a Ted Williams with uh, <laughs> 1941, where he hit 406. So we'll consider that a hit. Yeah, Musina. Finally, the camera decided to cooperate here. I think the camera has a mind of its own. Probably some uh, brand new AI where it just wants to uh, do whatever it wants to do. Machines are taking over, folks. Before you know it, we'll be uh, we'll be in the matrix. I'll tell you, I will, uh, I'll gladly take the blue pill. <laughs> Maybe I already did. All right. <laughs> well, that, that pack was okay. We got a Baseball Heroes and uh Barry Bonds. One thing about these packs is they're a little bit harder to open up. But you know what? At least they're not, like, bricked up cards like, uh, the 93 cards turned out to be. So we have a Greg Vaughn Home Run Heroes. Apparently Upper Deck just really like to have their cards all flipped all around. I remember opening some uh, jumbo packs where literally almost every other card was a double in, in the same pack. It was like card number two and card number nine would be the exact same card in every single pack. And I'm like, why can't that be a Kenny, Ken Griffey Jr.? <laughs> I think it just got a double already. We got Will Clark. Ooh, Ben McDonald. He, uh, he blew up, didn't he? Not really. Tyler Green and then our... Star Rookie. So on, uh, I, I lost count already. <laughs> How many packs I've opened? This is either a third or fourth. I have a huge mess to clean up. Yeah, Juan Gonzalez. Sid Fernandez. Who's that happy guy? Heathcliff. Not to be confused with uh, the feline. Wade Bugs. Well, still nothing, uh, nothing to write home about yet. Man, it looks like he uh, looks like he's fighting over that uh, over that ball there. Oh, we have a Daryl Strawberry. Oh, Randy Johnson. I like to keep him. And then we have a Callum Billy uh, Bloodlines. And John Farrell. Who's, who's this young guy? Roger Salkeld. That name reminds me of the producers of the old uh, Superman movies. Well, they were like the Salkinds or something like that. Man, I need to fix this desk. Apparently, it's very loose. So if I barely touch it, it shakes the camera. <clears throat> I 
And then my chair does not want to cooperate. Man, we are having a dysfunctional throwback Thursday. Camera, chair, table. Henry Cotto. But you know what? With everything trying to be difficult, this is the perfect time to pull a Dion or a rookie Chipper Jones. And maybe next week I'll open up one of the high series of uh, of this set. Ooh, what was that? Darren Jackson. Man. Julio Franco, Howard Johnson, and his chain of hotels. We got a Frank Thomas. Look at that. That is one happy guy. Now he's hawking uh, new genics. Oh, we got Cal Ripken Jr. And he, oh, Harold Baines. And what they say, you know, on those new genics commercials, she'll like it too. So far, so good. Well, we have a Dave Winfield. Chico. Ron Darling. Still nothing. Uh, Otis Nixon with the Braves. Oh, Dion! Look at that! Not the Dion we're looking for, but you know what? It's still a Dion. It still works. He's looking uh, like he's concentrating very hard. Oh, we got a Cecil Fielder. Dave Henderson. Uh, another Cal Ripken Jr. You know what? That's what our second or third one. Another Frank Thomas! Wow! This pack has actually been pretty... Uh, Pretty good. We got Frank Thomas, a Kyle Ripken, a Dion, and then we have our Pat Patrick Lennon. I swear he looks like he's ready to kill that cameraman. He's like, hurry up and take this photo and leave now. All right, Andre Dawson. I think we should get an Ozzy Smith too, right? Oh, we got a Jose Canseco. Before he went to the, was it Rangers, right? What do we have? Jim Abbott. And we only got one of the uh, baseball heroes. And no, uh, no holograms yet. Move on. Jimmy Jones. Before he started his line of sandwiches. I know. Dave Henderson again. Man, he looks like uh, he really wants to <laughs> get that base. That was a look of pure intensity for the love of the game. Either that or he ate a bad hot dog. All right, we have a home run here with another Frank Thomas. Then we have a Ricky Henderson. 
stealing another base. Randy ready. Chuck's not block. I guess we should get like a Jeff Bagwell here too. Greg Vaughn, Jose Okendo. We got a Cordero again. All right, well, some packs are better than others. Man, that one pack that had like, what is that, four or five Hall of Famers in there. It was, that was a very, very good pack. We are almost at the end of this first stack here. Golly, this one. That one was sealed tight. Tight. Ron Gantz. Oh, we got another Baseball Heroes. We got a... Which one? Where uh, His rookie year. Cecil Fielder. Let's see. Thomas Howard. I think we got our first hologram. Who do we get? We got... Oh, we got the Padres. Oh, my goodness. Yay. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool when uh, it was in 91 where every single pack had a hologram. I thought that was all right. But, I mean, I will admit, after a while, he ended up with a stack of... Uh, of uh, <laughs> You end up with a huge stack of holograms, and you're like, I, I don't know what to do with all this. All right, last pack. We are on, we are just about at the halfway mark, and we are at 17 minutes. So this movie, I mean movie, <laughs> this this uh, video is going to be at just shy of uh, 40, 45 minutes. We have a Joe Carter, the man who uh, hit that nice home run. Uh, against Mitch Williams. Uh, in fact, somebody posted that video on Twitter uh, a couple days ago. Uh, another Ted Williams, triple crown year. Another Wade Boggs. Lucina. We got a Cal Ripken Jr. Still no SP3, but we still have half a box to go. Is that Ricky Jordan? And Mark Lemke. All right, so we are halfway through. We're going to pull this other half right here. That was not too bad. We got a pretty decent stack of uh, old school hits here. We got some Cal Ripkins. We got some uh, Frank Thomases. And we got one Deion Sanders. Uh, base. A couple of uh, baseball heroes. Man, it would be so cool if we got an auto of his. We got Jack Clark. Carney Lansford. Juan Guzman. That Tommy Lasorda in the background. Look at Bryn Smith. Man, he's looking cool in the Oakleys, isn't he? Who is that? Ooh, Sammy Sosa. Wow. I keep forgetting Sosa played with uh, White Sox. Terry Pendleton. Hmm. 
Mark McGuire. Before he uh, got a lot larger. <laughs> and it, it was all natural, too. It was... Uh, he just ate a lot of protein. And he worked out a lot. All right, who's next? Oh, Andre Dawson. I think we got him before. Then we got a the header card for the baseball heroes. Oil can Boyd. We have another hollow. Let's see who it is. Let's say it's the Braves. Nope, it's the Orioles. Billy Ripken. Then we got another Dion. Look at that. With that stare. Oh, another Randy Johnson. I like this pack. Daryl Strawberry. Luis Soho. Pedro and Ramon. That was a cool pack. Of course, he, the, uh, <laughs> the hologram could have been Cardinals, you know. Or the Braves. Alright, who is this? This is Frank Thomas, Home Run Hero. Man, we got some pretty cool Home Run Heroes. But we are still on that search for the elusive short print three. I'm not even sure if they put them in the jumbo packs. I know they did things a little bit differently. But you know what? It didn't hurt to look. And like I said, I've got some uh, regular boxes here so I could do that in the near future. Greg Maddox. Ben McDonald, Sandy Alomar. All right. A few packs to go. We are at the 23 minute mark. Did you guys open up a lot of, uh, Oh, Ryan Gant. A lot of these. Oh, we got another Ted Williams. <clears throat> For those of you that are older, or maybe you bought some now, did you guys open up a lot of these uh, from back in the day? Or are you opening these now? Let me know. Post in the comments. Did you pull anything cool? Has anybody ever pulled a single autograph card from any of these Upper Deck, uh, <laughs> upper deck packs? Now, I do remember in my neighborhood way back in the 90s, a uh, kid pulled uh, Jerry West from uh, Upper Deck Basketball. And uh, that was pretty cool. I think at the time it was valued at, at like 800 bucks. We got a Ricky Henderson. Oh, we got a Brian Jordan rookie. That's pretty cool. But I think the owner of the store had to call the kid's parents to come get him. <laughs> the kid was scared, too scared to, to walk home by himself. You know what I mean? Can, could you blame him? And of course now, you know, a guy in my neighborhood pulled a Otto Victor 11 Yama from the Allen and Ginter series. Ah, uh, Joe Carter. Todd Zeal. Did 
Just a random thought. Does anybody remember that game MLB Slugfest? Who do we have? Oh, the Oakland A's. That's pretty cool. The MLB Slugfest. It was sort of uh, like Midway's version of NBA Jam. That was a whole lot of fun. I played that on the, I think either the PS2 or the GameCube. The one with uh, Jim Edmonds on the cover. Ozzy Smith. Oh, Kyle Jr. and Billy. Then our rookie is Royce Clayton. Man, I liked a lot of those games back in the day. NBA Jam, NFL Blitz. I wanted to get that NFL Blitz that came with the uh, arcade one up, but once they, I heard they took out the late hits. Matt Williams, they took out the late hits. I was like, well, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> that was the whole point of the game. Oh, looks like we got a Bo Jackson. Look at that. We got a Bo Jackson and uncooperative camera. Stottlemyer. Oh, is that a Kirby Puckett? That's pretty cool. Oh, another Mark McGuire. Ryan Sandberg. And then we have... <laughs> oh, man. We have four packs to go. Will we pull what we're looking for? Oh, another Cal Ripken Jr. home run hero. I think we got that Frank Tanana a few times. Mike Sims. Mike Jackson. Hey, he, he looks like he's really into that game right there. Or even more into that bubble gum. Oh, looks like we... Let's see who do we have. I'm going to say Cardinals. Oh, Orioles again. Man, he... Sam Horn, he looked happy there. Oh, man, Bobby Bonilla. Somebody told him he was going to get a future contract that where he gets paid for the next 30 years, and that's why he was so happy. Daryl Strawberry. Probably had an agent walk up to him and say, Hey, I can get you paid for the next three decades. And he, Bobby Bo just started cracking up, and the cameraman immediately took the picture. All right, Howard Johnson. All right, he looks. <laughs> Travis Fryman. Oh, uh, Cardinals. Oh, the A's again. Apparently, we 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 know which holograms are are, <laughs> are going to be here now. Raphael, Robin Ventura, future friend of Nolan Ryan, Lance Johnson. Oh, Cecil Fielder. And then we have a welcome to the chop shop. 
Dave Justice. All right, two packs to go. Signs are pointing slim, but that's okay. We have a Cecil Fielder. And then we have another Ted Williams. Oh, another Sammy Sosa. Man, he's he's everywhere. All right, we're going to go with uh, Orioles. <laughs> Expos, oh my goodness. It's mocking me. Dave Winfield. Jose Uribe. Kirk Gibson. And we have the Dave Winfield 400. Okay, so we have gone through this a lot quicker than I thought we would. We are down to the last pack. Let's go for some last pack mojo. We have not gotten the short print Deion Sanders. Oh, I dropped an envelope here. So we are going to hopefully get something good here. If not, it's still been a fun rip. Got some decent cards here. We'll do a quick run through of those. And as usual, I'll go through these, this last pack, and uh, I'll <laughs> read out everybody's name. We have uh, Home Run Heroes, Jose Canseco. Not bad. Then we have the Ted Williams second Triple Crown. Then we have a uh, Mel Rojas. Then a uh, Jeff Johnson. Then a Jeff Russell. Land of the Jeffs. Then we have a Carlos Garcia. Another Jeff. Jeff Brantley. Wow. Todd Benzinger. Gene Nelson. Looking like Dennis Eckersley there, almost. Uh, Don Paul. He got a power mustache there. Zane Smith. There, Bruce Hurst. Lloyd Mosby. Mel Thompson, Brett Barbary, Jack, Jack Morris, almost a Jake, Mike Henneman. Then we have Oral, Oral Hershiser, Tim Wallach, Dick Schofield, Scott Fletcher, Gary Pettis, Mike Sosha. Looking like he's not enjoying that uh, <laughs> that call. Then uh, Dave Forgetti. Now we have a checklist. And then our last two cards. We have a uh, Dave Nelson, and then our star rookie, Reggie Sanders. So, all in all, we didn't get the ever elusive short print number three. I'm guessing they were in the uh, hobby boxes only. So. Like I said, I have a couple of those, so I'll open those up in the future. But we can go over the hits we did get. We got a Baseball Heroes, Jose. Then we have Sammy Sosa, Cecil Fielder, Howard. We got Cal Ripken. We got some Mark McGuire's. We got a Bo, a Bo Jackson. Then we have an Ozzy Smith, Joe Carter, Brian Jordan. Some more Baseball Heroes, Ron Gantz. Another Frank Thomas. Another Randy Johnson. Man, he's looking awfully young there. Dion. And we have Andre. Another Mark. Another Sammy. I put a Jack Clark here. Wow. Oh, because he's home run heroes. Okay. Kyle Ripken. So, all in all, not too bad. Ricky Henderson. Another Frankie. Then we have a nice, nice little collection here. Not sure why those guys are upside down, but that's okay. We got a decent amount. Barry Bonds there. Kyle Ripken Jr. and then Matt Williams. So, 
not too bad of hits from uh, 31 years ago. So that was a pretty cool rip. But tell me, what did you guys think of this particular Throwback Thursday? Was there any <laughs> was there any cards that I, I did put in this deck that you thought uh, deserved to be? Let me know. Post in the comments below. Well, not the full success that we were hoping for. No autograph. No Deion Sanders short print. It was still a fun time. And like I said, we have plenty more to go. Thank you so much for taking time out to watch this video. And I will catch you guys next time. But don't forget, you can always hit that like button. And you can always hit that subscribe button. Help out the channel. Alright, that's it. Talk to you later.